but it's that it's a rear factory option. It keeps the uh, license plate clean. So, and by the way, it did not have a, a garbage bag on it um, when it was in the car. It, 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 they, they don't stay. They just there, you know. Good morning and welcome to Minnesota is Rust. Our candidate today, 2012 Chevy Suburban. We got the oil change. We got rear wheel bearings. We got seals. We got banging our head on running boards going on. So we're going to be diving in today, doing some bearings and seals on the back. If we get we get frisky, we might even uh, address the wiper. But it's a, it's a rear factory option. It keeps the uh, license plate clean. So there we go. Nice unit here. And we're going to dig right in as soon as our heat warms up. Ooh! 13 millimeter bolts. Loosen up the caliper from the bracket. C-clamp to compress the pistons a little bit. Makes it pretty good. Just enough to loosen it and we can hang it. Thanks. For we made it down to the axle. Got out the seal, looks a little bit wetter than it should. And now we're going to the Cover. Differential cover. Got expert extraordinaire down there. You can get to it. It's just a lot of moving parts in the way. Taking off the rear diff cover. We've gotten to. I've got, mm, I think, is it seven bolts out so far? Or so? Let's count the parts real quick. One, two, three, four, four, six, seven. See, we're working on number eight right now. And we got two more. You want to start working that cover off a little bit so you don't get a crisp loosh? You see how it's been drip, 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 drip. dripping pretty good? Yep. Nothing like that aftershave smell right there. So, best deodorant in the world is uh, 7590. Okay, here we go. I can't get it off. Oh yeah. So we made it down to the guts of the differential. Two thousand Chevrolet Impala race car version. Uh, helping out a relative, tracking down a, a blinker flasher possible issue. The multifunction switch was replaced. Chasing down some gremlins there. With that being said, we have a potential power steering leak, so we got to get to that and a high beam that doesn't work but we're trying to see which pin goes to that there's been some automotive excitement going on there so 2000 impala here we go 
we are going to research this mystery splice a little bit before we dig in more. You can see it's got a yellow line coming out of the main harness, then going to the headlight for the high beam, we believe, then going to the other headlight for the high beam, we believe. High beam works on one side, but not the other. Other than that, all the pins line up the same way. So, to be continued with our low beam, high beam situation as we're putting some wood over in our stove. Secondly, here to address the leaky power the, steering. The pins. A quick update on our power steering situation. Uh, our pump is dying too, which will need to be replaced. It's a smaller fluid. It's the, 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 the move pump. On, move on, move on, move on. The pump is dying, but that's okay for now. Uh, we have our uh, line, as you can see right there, our pressure line. And then, as it's kind of hard to see, it loops, it loops, it goes down, and then it loops back up, as you can see right here. That loop. And then it loops down across, you see that shiny line right next to the belt? Loops down there, and it follows this going that way. And now we're looking up to see if it loops or not, which it looks like it loops. And we'll just see, making sure that's the correct line, which we think it should be. So our high pressure line, right, that guy, return line, that guy. So for Grandpa's rules, we're going to take the bottom line off first, where it goes down to the rack. We can try to drain it out and then take it off. As we saw before, it's a long, long line, and unfortunately, it's not very affordable. Okay, we found the line. It wasn't which one we thought it was, but right here is where the line plugs into the pump. And to do this, you need a crow's foot, uh, 18, short extension, and a 3 8 with a floppy head was able to crack it loose. Once it's loose, you can go in there with a regular wrench and turn it out. Or maybe it's finger tight even. We shall see. We got that line loose. I put the professional mechanic down on the ground with, let's see your setup, right there. So you can get it with a crow's foot, 16 mil, mm -hmm. crow's foot from down in the wheel well. You just shoot it straight down here. If yeah, yeah, you, you can look from the wheel well too. And then we can look from the wheel well. There we go. And then got just to crack it loose. And now we can get a regular wrench on it and we'll get it out in just a bit. And we finish our Minnesota is Rust part of this video. So we were able to finagle uh, this crazy one. And by the way, it did not have a, a garbage bag on it um, when it was in the car. But when you go to your local auto parts store and get a new one, always bring the old part if at all possible. So we got it out of there. That was fun. That was exciting. Uh, it was wrapped, kind of curled around the um, return line, uh, which we will make sure we don't do that when we put it back in to make it easier for the next guy. The next guy. So with that being said, um, we have done power steering lines on full-size pickups and Suburbans, and we did another one a year or two ago on a next-gen up Impala. Uh, uh, that one before, I think. Yep, that we've done some work on that. That was a 07, the white one. And uh, so this we will um, gotta get some parts and then we'll find our way back here, digging through crow's feet, digging through extensions, using work lights that don't make you cry. Sometimes those make us cry. Yeah, these these are just it, 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 they, they don't stay. They just they're you know the, the, the Braun Harbor Freight for 
the win. And that, our, that's a real good one. And our generic Cyclops, we actually left at home, both of them. So I'll have to grab all one three, of those. All four of them, actually. Okay, i have to bring one of those babies over and do that. Uh, we used up our half-empty containers of brake clean to clean the hose out. And we will see you soon to get that guy back in place. So 2,000 Chevy needing a power steering hose. It, it's leaking out of the rack a little bit, but we can get the hose, uh, more, maybe more than a little bit. Uh, the pump uh, sounds like one of my children when they were smaller when they would scream. But anyway, uh, we just got to get the hose on there, get it back on the road, get it back to the owner, and they can decide what to do after that. So that being said, thank you much. Like, share, subscribe, as all those YouTubers like to say. Uh, here we are closing in on our first year of YouTube. Are you checking our stats right now? Checking our stats right now. We were at how many subs earlier today? 206. 206, which is an impressive number, I think, for one year of doing this thing. Uh, we have done at least one video a week for almost a full year. We actually have about 76 or 77 videos up. We did two a week for a while when we had a little bit more time, but we stuck to our one a week schedule for a year. So hopefully we'll see how that works. Go team. Well, that being said, thank you much. We'll see you soon. And check out this sweet vintage Corvette sign.